Hello YouTube, MF Shams here, I'm back again in the video. And in this video I'm going to be talking about Louis Van Hal and him hinting at a surprise striker signing. So let's just get straight into it. So Louis Van Hal was speaking following his side's 1-0 win over Club America as he revealed he wasn't worried about his striking options. And if you haven't already, go check my video video out where I pre uh, reviewed our win against Club America. So here he is, Louis Van Hal. So Louis Van Hal has hinted he could add a surprise name to his Manchester United forward line before the transfer deadline. United manager Watcher said win the first pre-season game against Club America in Seattle thanks to a debut goal from Morgan Schneiderlin. And that was a great goal to be honest. Just, as I'm saying before, go check my video out. I've explained everything about that match. He used another signing, Memphis Depay, in a central role behind striker Wayne Rooney in the first half. With only the other recognised forward in the squad, James Wilson, uh, I know it's James Wilson, but don't worry, uh, replacing the England captain at half-time. Asked afterwards whether he was worried about the number of strikers he has at his disposal after the departures of Van Persie and Falcao, the Dutchman replied, No. So as you can see, he is the signings and Schneider is winking at Ashley Young. He suggested that he could still add another frontman to his squad before the transfer window shuts next month. So this is basically what he said. We have Rooney, he can play in striker's position and all the media had written he should play there, so I listened. And that was when, uh, during the last season, when... Van Hal was putting Rooney in centre mid and centre defence mid especially and everyone st all the media you know started slamming him like oh Rooney should be up front, Rooney should be up front so he put him up front and now we're asking him about striker's problem and he's saying now you put this question so you don't know what you want um, also Hernandez and maybe Wilson and maybe there comes a surprise that's what he said so obviously there's Rooney, there's Depay as well he could potentially play as a striker Hernandez, Wilson and then he said maybe there comes a surprise he said it's a process, I'm not worried about that position. So basically whenever he says it's a process, that kind of worries me. Because whenever, whenever someone says you're in a process, you feel like you're not ready. The club's not ready and you, you don't perform that well. So Van Al keeps using that word process. Um, I, I don't know why he does that. Why don't you just say we're ready now. We're, we've finished that process, we're ready, and we're Manchester United, we're back. That will give so the, the players so much confidence. And I don't get why Van Al keeps saying process, process, process. That word is not good for the player's mentality. Um, but the surprise things, um, you know, I think that reinforces what my, I covered in another video where Van Hal said we need to strengthen in two key areas. Um, he said there's two more positions and that's obviously a centre-back position and a striker's position. And I think, um, I don't think Benteke will come. He's been linked to, heavily linked to Liverpool now. But I think it could be either Cavani, Benzema, Lewandowski or Lacazette or Muller. Any of the strikers, I think, would come. I don't think there would be anyone else that could possibly come now. Um, so that's pretty much it. Oh, there he is. Uh, and basically, he added further that Hernandez is coming on July 25th. He can prove himself. So if Hernandez does really good, as in if he scores, I don't know, four goals in one game, or if he does really good, you know, I don't know, if he does really good, he could potentially earn himself a starting place um, with, with Wayne Rooney. And someone could get dropped like Ashley Young or someone and Depay could get moved to the left wing. So I don't know. But, you know, I wish Hernandez was good because I like him. I, I like Hernandez. He's a good player. And I just don't want to see him leave Man U. So anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please like this video and subscribe for more. See you later.